and welcome back to Ask a Theorist. Or two. Today, Heinrich has asked us a question. How do you start writing a melody? Excellent question. Since melody is the basis for most of song. Let me just tell you, the first choice of pitch, which you have to start with a pitch somewhere, is random. You can just choose anything as a first pitch. But your second pitch, there's a certain moral implication to that. Aaron Copeland says that the theme that you get is a gift from God. You might consider it to be an indivisible unit, and so I would recommend you just follow your instincts and write a theme. No, 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 no. See, there, there is a set pattern of rules and regulations that determines a melody. You don't just follow your instinct. You follow three, two, one. Heinrich Schenker, uh, you know, Shankarian theory. Oh, not that. Every every song boils down to three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, three, two, one. Mi, re, do. Three, two, one. That's it. That's every melody. Every melody. It's the order of your uh, song. The form. The thing that determines the form, not so much just the melody. Pitch is a random choice. Pitch of the first note. Pitch is an element of key that you choose. Pitch has a length of time. Articulation. Then comes a moral choice to choose the second pitch. What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? You gotta choose a pitch. What do you talk? You can talk, you can talk, you can bicker, you can talk, you can bicker, 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 you can talk all you want, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't, no, it ain't, but you gotta know Shankiran theory. Shh, 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 shh. Talking Shanker. Ever heard of a man named Shanker? Shanker? Shanker. Heinrich Shanker? Heinrich Shanker. Heinrich Shanker. Nope, never heard of any theorist named Shanker. Jury knows what it takes just to make a pretty tune. Make the people want to sing, want to play, want to play up and sing. Scale of threes, three, two, one. Up to eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you gotta follow Shanker's theory. What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? Yes, it's three, two, one. That's how every tune comes down. That old theory is long gone. Gone with the hogshead cask and demijohn. Gone with the sugar barrel, pickle barrel, milk pan. Gone with the tonal center and the tonic and the keys. But we're talking about tonal theory. Red light! Switch! Haven't you noticed that Schenker's only used to support Germanic music? We use Bach and Brahms and Beethoven as examples. But it doesn't work with Debussy or Ravel. No, you can use Schenker music for any kind. It can be uh, worship music or contemporary. Any kind of music follows Shankarian theory. No. I could take a random pitch, then assign a second pitch, just to make a pretty melody to charm and move your soul. Soul? Soul. 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 Soul for me, Ray Do. No. If your second pitch is random, then your music will not sing. This isn't rocket science, it's more like law of gravity. Not the law of gravity, more like the Model T. Outmoded and inefficient. Heinrich Schenker knew the tonal theory. Schenker knew the tonal theory. It's all about melodic line. I don't worry about my line. Never worry about your line. Or a doggone thing. I just pick a pitch, I pick a pitch, a rhythm and a pitch with articulation. Then I add a bang, beat, bell ringing, big haul, great go, neck or nothing, rip roar, and every time's a bullseye melody. That's the way I roll. What's the background of your line? Oh, there's no background of my line. There's just the line itself. It's a series of pitches, don't you know? Just one pitch after another in a big long line making choices as you go. With no background to your line, you will hear the foreground series of the pitch up, down, back and forth enough to make your head swim, but you gotta know the tonal theory. Look, what do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? That's a music man. That's a what? That's a what? That's the music man. Every tune that is played on the clarinets by the kids in the town with the big trombones and the rat-a-tat drums, big brass bass, big brass bass, heavy metal and the piccolo. Well, they all have a background as well as a foreground. And the background goes me, Ray Do. Well, I don't know much about backgrounds, but I do know you can't make a living playing three blind mice. No, sir. Well, I'm telling you now, you can dally, you can dance like the boys in the band when they strum and they pluck and it shines when you dance. Certainly, boys, what else? 
the piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the man dances, certainly, boys, what else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I still don't get Shankarian theory.